Hey everyone, Andrew Logan here. Great to be doing this video with you. And I have an incredible, incredible guest to bring on for you. So we all know that reels are where the eyeballs are at at the moment, but sometimes in social media, especially, we can get a little bit caught with going, you know, outside in rather than sort of inside out. And we can get so caught up with, I've got to make reels, I've got to make reels, I've got to make reels that we forget to like, well, how do we actually make them? And what kind of content can I deliver? And what's the message of my reels rather than just making reels for the sake of making reels? So Angie and I wanted to do this little challenge with you. And I wanted to bring on someone who is incredibly special to me. And, you know, I I talk about her a lot. And I know she gets the same introduction kind of every time. But you know, accolades aside, she's a woman of the year. She's a seven-figure earner in this industry. She's an absolutely incredible trainer and speaker. But when I talk about personal development and when I talk about commitment and when I talk about growth and when I talk about being someone who just dives in head first and develops himself from someone who was so shy that they couldn't even order like food, like they couldn't order food at a cafe and stuff because they were so introverted, so shy to being someone who stood on stage in front of 10,000 people and absolutely rocked keynotes. You will not find a better demonstration of that determination, that grit, that personal development um, than the amazing Alicia Fernandez. So Alicia, great to have you here. Oh my goodness, Andrew. Thank you so much. Um, it's such an amazing, I guess, journey that I've been on. And it's a great reminder when you introduce me as well. So but thank you first and foremost for having me on. But anyone watching too, when you're like, um, we're going to be talking about video content today, right? We're going to be talking about reels and you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't do what she does. Or I don't have the confidence to be on camera like Andrew or Alicia. And I want you to know that I was exactly the same way. And the only way to get better is by doing it when you feel uncomfortable when you feel nervous, when you have those moments where you're like, I don't want to be on camera, that's where the growth comes from and that's where self-worth comes from. So, you know, I love hearing uh, my achievements because I'm like, wow, look how far I've come. And so I'm super, super excited to dive into today's training. So my intention for this training is to teach you why reels, why reels, what a reel is and how to do them. Could you get excited about that? Yeah, if you're watching live somewhere, say yes in the chat. If you're live on Zoom here with us, put yes in the chat and we will jump into today's training. So Andrew, do you just want me to rock and roll and take over Zoom? Well, I was just I was just going to jump in because it's just funny how the universe works sometimes. So the other night, late Saturday night here, it was what, 9, 10 p.m. Saturday night, I was, I was doing a live with Darren Kidd and then he's doing a, a training program at the moment. Mm -hmm. I've jumped in there today and he just... He literally said something that was so impactful, exactly what you said. And he only said that two hours ago. It was in anything we do, you're going to be bad before you get good. So just get the bad out of the way. Like just, just go in, like stop sitting there on the sidelines, waiting to worrying about being bad, get really bad and then get it all out of the way. And then by the time you're good, you've built up that audience, you've built up that kind of following, and then they're just going to see you good. People don't have time to worry about your bad. So get in, get the bad out of the way. And with that, I'm just going to step back, Alicia, because you're absolutely crushing this. I'm going to step back and let you take over. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, awesome. So what I'll do is, first and foremost, I'm going to share my screen. And we all love technology. And sometimes technology doesn't love us. And so we just got to roll with it as well, right? This is real life. Um, I'm not perfect. And so let me know if you can see my slides right now. It should say how to kickstart your reels, reels 101, reels fundamentals, whatever you want to call it. We are talking reels, baby. Okay. So let me know in the chat as well. Or if you're watching live, have you ever done a reel before? Say yes in the chat if you've ever done a reel before. Okay. And if you haven't, pop a no. All right. Because I want you to know that it's totally fine if you've already done some reels so my intention is to show you how you can actually crush your reels even more and if you haven't done a reel yet i'm going to show you exactly where to start so the basics okay so this training is for people who are already doing reels because you're going to get some juice and some gold but it's also for those of you who you've never done a reel yet and if that is you you're in the right place okay so thank you so much again to andrew for introducing me and i just want to dive in so i really want you to write this down and this becomes, so I love social media, okay? I'm introverted, I'm a proud introvert, and I've been able to build my network marketing business leveraging social media. I love it. But would you agree, just head nod wherever you are, that sometimes you're like, wait, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this reel? Why am I doing this post? And you're like, 
I catch myself doing it. And so I really want you to write this down that if you're in business, if you're in the network marketing industry, the whole intention of being on social media and correct me if I'm wrong, is to get a lead, is to get a lead, a potential customer leaning in. And that's the power of social media. We can get free leads. We can get free eyeballs on our content, on our product, on our service, on our brand. And so I really want us, you know, there's so much going on in the world sometimes to be like, that's my intention with social media. Okay, there's so many different ways and features of posting on social media. Today, we're just going to talk about reels, but I want you to know that it's not the only thing, right? Reels are super, super powerful, but the intention of posting on social media and showing up on social media is to get a lead. Yes? Say yes in the chat if you're like, okay, this is why I'm on here. I want to generate business organically. I don't want to pay for ads. I want to get customers for free, okay? And so that's exactly why I want to teach how to use reels so you can use them intentionally and you're actually using it effectively as opposed to be like, I'm just posting this for the sake of posting it. Why am I posting it, okay? So we can get a lead right? Through attraction marketing. Who loves attraction marketing? You're like, yes, come to me, baby. Come to me. It's so much better. But I want you to know that attraction marketing goes hand in hand with action marketing. Okay. Attraction marketing, we can bring people in with our content. Absolutely. But we can't forget Unfortunately, we can't forget action marketing and action marketing is all about reaching out to your new followers. So I, I was speaking to someone the other day and they're like, I've got all these brand new followers from my reels. And I'm like, okay, that's awesome. Now, and then they're like, now what? I was like, that's where action marketing comes in. That's when you actually have to reach out to your new followers, your new leads to touch base them, to say hello. All right. So I want you to know that it's just not posting content on social media. You've got to do the work as well. Is that making sense? So we've got attraction marketing through our content. Come to us, baby. And then we're going to do the work by actually engaging and chatting to the people on our social media. So attraction, I did, this just came to me, actually. Attraction is almost like your media, right? And then action marketing is your social. So you're being on social media, you're socializing with your online um, community, okay? And so you may have heard me talk about this before. I always like to bring it back to basics, especially when it comes to social media, because it can be super overwhelming, especially if you're brand new. But I want you to think about your social media, your Instagram profile, your Facebook profile, whatever social media platform you're on, I want you to think about it as it's a cinema, okay? And everything that you post Everything that you post is basically on the cinema screen, okay? You have a captured audience sitting in your cinema and you can show them whatever. And right now to post on social media, it's free. It's free, my friends. So let's use it to our advantage before one day we wake up and Mark Zuckerberg Zucks goes, hey, by the way, you're going to have to buy credits now and it's going to cost you every time you post on social media. So let's use it to our advantage, okay? So... Free advertising. I know what you're thinking. You're like, yes, I know I can post for free on social media, but what the heck do I post? Anyone thinking that? You're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to post. Uh, I go into socials. And so this is what I follow. A great mentor of mine, Andrews um, Fraser Brooks, he taught me this. And it's just going back to basics, going back to fundamentals. Let's not overcomplicate things. And so if you're stuck on what to post, you can follow RVL, results, value, lifestyle, results, value, lifestyle. And so you want to post results that you got with whatever product or service that you have. But not only that, you want to showcase that you're actually helping other people as well. Okay. And you do that through testimonials. You do that through sharing their story. I was here and now I'm here. Okay. I went from A to B or I showed Paul how to go from A to B and I have the solution for you in the middle. And so when you're posting on social media, write this down because I feel like it's super, super, super important is you want to be talking to your ideal audience, your target market. Okay. So who is your target market? Are you talking to people who are in their forties? They have two kids. They're struggling to lose weight. Is that your target audience? Because what you want to be doing on social media is really talking to your target audience and talking to them about their pain points. Because before someone buys from you, before someone buys from you, they need to know two things. 
two things. Do they understand me? Do they understand me and can they help me? Two things. Do they understand me and can they help me? And how they'll feel like you understand them is by talking about their pain points. Okay, if you don't know what your pain points are, you can Google pain points, you can go into chat, GPT, you can ask the AI system now, it's insane. I could do a whole different training on that to identify the pain points for your target audience, okay? And then that way you can share value. So the value will actually show your target audience, your prospect, that you know a thing or two. And if you don't know how to um, share value, I'm gonna show you that in tonight's training or today's training. And then you wanna post about your lifestyle. So you show up and people fall in love with you. People fall in love with Andrew because he shares lame dad jokes, correct? But people love that and they build that connection with him, okay? So don't forget to be a real person on social media, okay? And I have a little asterisk there at the bottom, post on social media to connect with your ideal market, not to sell, okay? So what we do is, you can write this down too, we serve publicly, okay? And we sell privately, we sell in the DM, okay, but we serve publicly. So good, all right? So that is all about your posting, RVL, 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 results, value, lifestyle, results, value, lifestyle. So you may have heard this a gazillion times, but people will buy from us when they know, like, and trust us, correct? <laughs> and so the reason why Andrew asked me to jump on and train you on Reels right now is because Reels are getting the most amount of exposure, okay? So if you want to be known out there to your target audience, then Reels are where it's at because the reach on Reels right now are insane, okay? So that's why if you want to get your most bang out of your buck for posting on social media, then you want to be posting Reels, okay? So that's how people are going to find you, all right? And then you can see up here on the screen, they like you through your Instagram and your Facebook stories, the behind the scenes, the reality, and then you build the trust in the DM, you know, speaking to someone privately. Okay, so I just wanted to show you why we're chatting all things real, because let me know in the chat, do you want to be known? Do you want to get more followers? Do you want to have more people on your, like, on your content? If you do, then say yes in the chat, because that's exactly what Reels will do for you, Okay. So let's go to basics. What is a reel? Some of you may know this. You're like, oh my gosh, this is so basic. But we're going to start from the very beginning because I want you to know that it's all about the basics. It's just doing the basics over and over and over and over and over again. Get Not getting too like um, complicated with it. That's where we're going to get success, okay? So a reel, you can read everything on the screen right now, but I want you to just realize that a reel is basically a short form video. That is it. Do not overcomplicate it. I can see Linda laughing. Do not overcomplicate it because it's just a short video. That is it, okay? And I think we get a little bit overwhelmed because we're like, oh, there's all this editing and all these softwares and blah, 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 blah. But it's just a short form video, okay? And so let's, this is a fun one. I always love to play this when I do these masterclasses because this is an example of a funny reel. <laughs> Okay, that's so fun because it's so relatable, right? Who's done that before? I don't iron my house, so I don't do any of that, but uh, I do iron my hair and I curl my hair. And there have been so many times where I've left the house and then come back to check to see whether I've turned off my hair straightness. It's the same thing. So it's super, super relatable, okay? Humor always wins. And so the reason why I wanted to show you that particular reel, because if you look in, if you lean in right now, that particular reel, does anyone know Carby? That particular reel got him 285 million views. 285 million people watched him do that meaning, meaningless life hack. Okay, that's what he shares on his social media. It's insane. And him, as a person, he'll get paid now anywhere between $90,000 to $100,000 per post on his reels. How cool is that? Would you love to be paid about a hundred grand per post, yes, please. And so that's the power that we have in our hand when it comes with reels, okay? So you can have a look here. I call this my um, my 10 seconds of fame. So one of my reels actually got 35 million views. 35 million views, can you even comprehend that? 
35 million people saw me do something silly on my balcony here. Oh my goodness, for free, <laughs> which is so insane. And on Facebook, I think that one particular reel gave me like 10,000 brand new followers. So it was pretty, pretty insane. And it got me really juiced up and really excited about reels. And so I showed my husband a thing or two uh, on how to reuse reels and how to get his genius out there to more people. And he did a reel and got 1.5 million views on his reel as well, which is so insane that we were at a casino near our house and this random couple came to him and they were like, hey, you're that guy from the real. And I was like, wow, celebrity moment. And so that's the power that we have in our hands for free, for free. So to put it into perspective, quarter of a million people there. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. And so I want you to know that reels are definitely worth the squeeze, okay? That's the whole point. So reels of the past. Reels of the past, like I still do these, but they're kind of getting boring to most people because this is the same old, same old, there's no originality, but all reels are basically the dancing reels, the pointing at text, the trend after trend, the lip syncing. And I know, because a lot of my students have said this to me, that this is the reason holding them back from doing reels because they're like, I don't want to be silly. I'm not that. I'm a professional. I don't want to be doing that silly stuff. So I want you to know that you don't necessarily have to do that in order for your reels to get traction okay so here's an example of uh you know all of these the dancing the pointing the lip syncing all righty so that's the reels of the past and this is the current state of reels this is the current state of reels so it's original content especially with all the ai happening right now original content is going to win because we as human beings want to have connection with another human, okay? And so being on camera, does that scare anyone? Say yes, being like, oh my gosh, I've got to talk to camera. I hate the sound of my own voice. I don't like what I look like. Totally normal, by the way, all right? But you get over it, I promise you. And so speaking direct to camera right now is what's winning in the Reels game, okay? And so it's as simple as having your camera there and talking to the camera. And so I'm just going to show you a, a snippet. This is Lloyd, my husband. That's This reel got him 1.5 million views. Look how simple it is. Is private school worth it? Well, I did this exercise on one of my podcasts, and this is what I discovered. If you if you take the $20,000, cool. is private school... So what you can see there, what you can see there is him, he's just talking to the camera. I think that video was like a minute. It was 60 seconds long. So it took him 60 seconds and he could get the reach of 1.5 million people. Insane, right? But Lloyd did a couple of things in that video. It's not like he sat here and he was just like, okay, this one's going to go viral. But he did a couple of things in that video that actually got him the traction, okay? So here they are for you, outlined, okay? Because you know Andrew and I love Andrew, so I'm literally going to give you all this value for free. But basically, these are reels must, okay, related to your niche. So what is your niche? What do you love talking about? What is your subject that someone, if they go, Peter, when I think of Peter, I think of this. Okay, that's what you want to create. You want to tr create triggers for people. So when people think about me, someone messaged me today, they're like, oh, I've got this question, hashtag social media expert. And I was like, oh, that's so cool, you know, because I'm creating that brand for myself. And so what brand can you create for you? So Lloyd, my husband, he's in the money space. He's in the investing space. So people think, Money, investing, Lloyd. I would even say people would think investing, Lloyd. Okay, they 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 create that, that um, what, what am I trying to say? That link, okay? So you want it to be related to your niche. This is so powerful. This is so powerful. I actually paid a mentor $3,500 to train me and they taught me this and I'm giving it to you for free. Create a double hook in the first three seconds. What's a double hook? So a hook is... Three secrets to losing weight. That's a hook, okay? You want to stop someone in the scroll hole. You know how, who's say yes, if you're like, you, you just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll, yep. And so what you want to do is you want to make someone stop. So a double hook is saying it in your video, but also having it in the first sentence of your caption. So you want to have a double hook. You want to use subtitles because 80% of people watch videos on mute, me included. Okay, you want to have a double call to action, a double call to action. So in your video, at the very end of your reel, you want to tell people what to do. 
Comment below a fire emoji if you love this. Share this with a friend. Double tap the screen to tell me if you're going to implement this. These are all call to actions, but not only adding the call to action into your video, but adding into the description as well. Okay. Reels must, if you share your reels to your stories, your story views count on your real views. So you really want to encourage other people to share your reels because if they share it to their stories and they have 10,000 people watching their stories, those 10,000 views count towards your views. Cool, right? Did you know that? So share your reels to your stories and encourage other people to share your reels. Don't have any watermarks. So say, for example, you create a TikTok. Do not download the TikTok video and then put it onto Instagram with the TikTok watermark. They're competitors. Instagram will not like that. And if you do it, vice versa, TikTok won't like that. Okay, so there's a website. I don't have it on my slides, but you can write it down. Instavideosave.net. Instavideosave.net. And that way you can download all of your videos on Instagram without the logo. So then you can upload it onto TikTok. You can upload it onto Facebook as well. Okay, so repurpose. Because you, the intention is to create one piece of content and then distribute it everywhere so you get a bigger presence for less amount of time. Okay, almost never delete. I say almost never delete because that one that got, I was on the balcony, uh, I posted it. It was really silly. And I was just like, oh, I don't know whether I should keep that on there. And next, the next month, I started getting all of these followers. And I'm like, where are these followers coming from? And my that reel got traction a month later. Okay, so even if you think, oh, this isn't really good, don't delete it. And then this is super important. And I feel like this is the missing piece. This is the missing piece. Engage before and after posting your reel. I don't know if you've heard this before, but you've got to give love to receive love. You've got to give love to receive love. Okay, so by engaging with other people, especially your target audience. Okay, so I want this is some homework, actually. Think about your target audience. Think about your target audience and then think about a massive influencer in that industry, okay, who has a ton of engagement and traction on their posts, right? You can go to that influencer's page. You can comment on their stuff for sure because then you'll show up, but then go and have a look at everyone commenting and go and start and comment on their stuff. Okay, because they're going to see you showing up and guess what they're going to do as a human being, because we're curious, they're going to stalk you. And then you're going to have all these testimonials and these results and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, tell me more or they'll and they'll go follow. Okay, so that's how we go find our people. All right, this is gold, by the way, I hope you're getting this and I hope you implement it, engage before and after posting your reel, because it's going to bring people to you, your ideal audience, your target audience, which is the most important thing. So those are some real musts. Here's another gift from me to you. So I was talking about those hooks at the beginning, the first couple of words that come out of your mouth in your video to hook your audience in to get them watching your reels. These are some ideas that you can use. And you can see in the green box there, that's where your hook would be in the actual captions, okay? So, for example, uh, Lloyd's hook was, is private school worth it? He said it with his voice, but then he also put it in the description. But there's stuff like top uh, top three easy ways to lose weight. So if you were to, to create a reel, you'd hold your, your phone up here, you're about to record, and you'd be like, here's three top tips to losing weight, okay? And that's how you start your video. Does this make sense? Does a hook make sense? All right, cool. So I just really want you to really think about when it comes to video content, there's just three things. I put up two fingers there. There's just three things, three things. A hook, value, which will be your tips, three, four, one tip, whatever, and then a call to action. That is it, simplified for you. We do not want to get more complicated than that. Okay, so you can take a photo of that. Feel free to use them. And here are 10 call to actions for you to use and implement straight away. You, by the time end of this masterclass, you have no excuses not to do reels, okay? I'm going to give you everything on a platter so you can go and dominate and really build that confidence when it comes to reels. So, you know, for example, share this to your story if you can relate. relate. So you would use that in your video at the end and then you'd put it into your description, okay? I'm going to change the slide in three, two, one. So hopefully you've taken a photo of that. Oh, that's just a me, me doing an example, but I'll show you one at the end anyways. So if you're like, I don't really know how to come up with ideas. I don't know how to come up with creative ideas. Like I see Andrew posting on his Instagram. He always has these topics. Like how do I come up with topics? So I'm going to take you behind 
the curtain and I'm going to tell you exactly what I do to come up with my content. Okay, would that be cool? Would you like to know? So I scroll with intention and people say to me, I, well, I tell people all the time, I'm like, I actually wouldn't be on social media if I didn't have a business. Truth be told. Okay, so yes, I am sitting on the couch sometimes and I'm scrolling and I'm watching videos of dash hounds because I'm just obsessed, but I usually scroll with intention. And so what I mean by that is like when I'm watching other people's reels, I go, wait, what made me stop to watch that reel? What made me want to share that reel? What was it? And so I'm like, okay, if I see they have high engagement, I'm like, okay, what was it about this reel? Because it's clues, success um, leaves clues. So it's like, what are they doing in order for them to get the engagement? So scroll with intention. Whenever I see a reel that I like and I want to model, or sometimes copy, <laughs> um, I will save the link into the notes section of my phone. So when I go to create it, all I've got to do is tap on the link and it will take me to that example. Instead of like always having to find it and things like that, that's just something that I do. But this is really cool. If you're not watching on your phone right now, you can actually do a real life example. This is such a cool feature. You will never, ever, ever, ever run out of content to talk about. So if you go onto Google, our trusty friend Google, okay, and you Google anything, you Google anything. So I'll just do, I'll just do, I'll Google weight loss hacks, okay? So I'm Googling weight loss hacks right now. And if you scroll down on Google, you may not be able to see my screen, but you'll be able to see it on yours. It will say, people also ask. People also ask, okay? And when you tap on people also ask, it will go more results. And there's just idea after idea after idea after idea. And you can take those and you can put it into video form. Not only that, you can take those and put them on your social media and you become an expert with the value in your industry and your niche. Guess what? People also ask. It's ranked in order of what people are Googling. So do you think your ideal customer will be like, Ursula knows me. She knows my pain points. She knows what I want right now because that's what people are Googling. Okay. And then of course, my best friend right now, chat GPT. All right. If you don't know where that's at, go and have a Google, go and have a play around with it. I um, have another training on that, which is just blows my mind, but it's a cool AI system that will help you generate original ideas. Okay. So let me know um, in the chat, are you feeling a little bit more confident with your reels so far? you know, not being exactly like what you can do with a structure, how to get some original ideas. Yeah, awesome. I can see a few of you nodding. So that's great. So if you don't, here are some, I think 16, 16 original ideas that you can use with your reels. You know, you can do FAQs, you can tell a story, you can do a time lapse before and after. The list goes on and on and on. But if you're not feeling very confident right now, you can start creating reels without showing your face. Okay, if you're like, oh, I don't really want to have my face on camera right now, you can start by doing something as simple as putting a quote on a video, or you can use the templates option on Instagram, which I'll show you how to do very, very simply to create some really cool reels. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of this 16 original real ideas for you. And so one of my favorite songs. So I had that on the back of my reel. Okay, and so I want you to realize too that when you post a reel, okay, posting different reels will get you different engagement. Okay, what do I mean by that? And I'm sure you'll agree. I'm sure you'll agree. If you post cute things or achievements or celebrations, you're going to get lots of likes. Am I right? Every time Andrew posts a, a, a post of his kids or Nelly, his beautiful dog, he gets likes. Yes? So think about it. So you're like, okay, what do I actually want to get in terms of engagement? Cute things, achievements, celebrations will get you likes, comments. So Lloyd's um, Lloyd's reel that he did is private school worth it. It was controversial, okay, which is why he got a lot of traction with that particular reel because it was is private school worth it versus public school. So people had opinions around that. So they commented, they shared it, um, shares. So if you want to get more, your content shared to more people, share latest news, so breaking news, quotes, relatable humor, okay? If I go and look at the majority of things that I actually share with my closest friends and family, it's usually humor. Humor always wins, right? I'm like, hmm, I need to focus on getting funnier. I'm not as funny as Andrew and my husband yet, but it's a work in progress, okay? And then if you want to get saves, 
It needs to be value packed, lists, new ideas, tips. So I was sharing with my students the other day that if you go over to my Instagram, and I'd love for you to follow me on my Instagram account because I share tips and Instagram hacks pretty much every day on my social media account. But I was sharing with my students that I get a lot of saves. I get a lot of saves on my content. And that's because I do a lot of lists, new ideas, tips, and value, right? So where I'm going to shift a little bit more with my content, because we're always growing. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not perfect. All right. We're always growing, we're always learning. I'm going to work on ha- creating more shareable content. Okay. And so DMs. So if you want to get more private messages, basically you do some trending reels, some loop reels, some short reels. And then if you want to get follows, then original reels, valuable content. Okay. Does that make sense? Is that good? So now you'll understand, like, if I post that, I'm going to get that engagement. Okay. I just want you to understand that there's different types of content that's going to get you different engagement. So take a screenshot of it. This is some pro tips when it comes to real, some pro tips. And so um, if you haven't posted a reel at all, your first assignment is to post a reel. Okay. But if you are quite consistent with your reels, then aim to do seven a day. Seven a day, one a day for the next 90 days and see where you're at. Send me a message if you take that challenge on and be like, okay, I'm going to take it on one reel a day for the next 90 days and let me know where your, you know, where your engagement and your followers are at because it's definitely going to make a difference. So what I personally do is, um, you know, Linda complimented me on my jacket at the beginning of this training, but I don't look this good every day. Just so you know, this is a special occasion. I did my hair for it. I did my makeup for it. I got dressed up. And so when I create my reels, I batch my content. So I actually record like maybe eight to 10 videos all at once, and then I save them to my phone, and then I roll them out each and every day. So that's an option as well. If you're like, I don't feel good every day, you can batch your content, all right? So that's my little hack that I do. Otherwise, the weeks just go by, and you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't posted in weeks because you don't have any content created. But when you're in the mood, you're like, okay, let's go, baby, let's film. And you just get in the flow. And so I record, and then I edit at another time. And then I shared this already, like I share other people's reels throughout the week for inspiration, invest in a ring light. A ring light is, I literally have one now. It's a light, it's a circle, and it just gives you great lighting because the brighter your videos, if you can record your videos outside, even better, but the brighter your videos, the more engagement they're going to get. Okay. These are basics. I know they're basics and scroll with intention. I touched on that and engage, 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 engage. Okay. Before and after your reels, engage with your community, show up on social media, just don't create the media, be social as well. Okay. So those are some pro tips for you over there. That was a lot. That was a lot. I want to hear from you. I try lots of your real hacks. Oh, Ursula, I'm so happy to hear that. That's great. Um, I want to hear from you. If you're watching the recording, if you're watching live, I want to know in the chat right now, what has been your biggest takeaway? What has been your biggest takeaway so far, your biggest bingo moment? Because what I'm going to do next is, I want you to pop that into the chat. I'm going to stop sharing my actual screen. All right. And what I'm going to do now is, actually share my phone and show you how to create a reel. Would that be cool? Would that be cool? Awesome. Let's let's do that. We'll actually go into my phone. I went and checked my photos earlier just to make sure there weren't any naughty ones. Oh. <laughs> like, is it safe to go to share my screen? Okay, so let's do that. Hopefully, hopefully not, but you never know. Okay, so I'm going to share my iPhone. So those of you who don't know that, you can actually share your iPhone here on Zoom. So it's really great for training as well, like training your team. If you're in the network marketing space, you could do like a live training and be like, this is where I go and find people, or this is what I DM people. So it's such a cool feature, right? So it's live, it's real, it's raw. Wish me luck. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, but if it does, it's real life, okay? And I'll show you how I figure stuff out. So don't get overwhelmed by all my notifications. Yes, I know I have 198 text messages. (laughs) anyways regardless let's move on so first steps instagram i create my reels on instagram so can you see my iphone thumbs up if you can see my iphone yep yeah awesome thanks peter okay so i create my reels on instagram so we're going to go to instagram okay and in order to get to your reels your reels feature or you can you can do a couple of things you can scroll across okay you can scroll across or you can tap on that plus button below. Okay, I tapped on the plus button below, and then I'm gonna tap on real. Okay, did you see that? 
Do I have any nose hairs? Oh God, this awkward angle. <laughs> All right. And so now we're on reels. This is reels. My screen's really dirty. Let me just clean that. That's a tip, by the way. Always make sure you have a clean screen, right? I just wiped out my jacket. Much better. Okay, so this is how you record a reel. Simples, right? Say yes, if this is simple. So far, so good. I love it. Peter and Linda, if you can't see them, they're getting into action right now. They're doing it right now. That's what I love. Action takers and money makers. So good. All right, so here's a reel, okay? And so the first steps, this is what I do. The first steps is to, do you have extras on Insta because you have more buttons? Mm, maybe. So what happens with Instagram, Ursula, is um, sometimes they roll out features to more people first and then they roll out because there's so many users. So I could possibly, but hopefully you have the features that I'm going to show you right now. And so first steps is to be like, okay, what am I going to say on camera? So you can actually script it if you want to begin with. Okay, this is what I'm going to say on camera and then you can roll with it. All right. What I do is I tap on the timer. The timer is here. Can you see the little timer, the little clock? Yeah, the little clock there. So I tap on that and then you can choose whether the, the countdown is three seconds or 10 seconds, okay? I never use 10 seconds because that's just way too long. So I do three seconds and so it's gonna give me a countdown and then I can get into place. I don't do these awkward movements with my hand and I can talk, okay? So we're gonna set the timer. And I'm gonna press the button and hope for the best. Three, two, one. Instagram hack, I bet you didn't know. Did you know by adding a call to action, it will actually increase your engagement? Check out the comment section for 20 call to action ideas. All right, that was a live. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I could be using that as well. Thanks, Andrew, for picking that up. So I've recorded my reel, okay? Straight, it's there, you can see it. And so what I'm gonna do next is tap on next, okay? Instagram hack, I bet you didn't know. Did you know by adding a call to action, it will actually increase your engagement? Check out the comment section for 20 call to action. Okay, cool. So there's my video. There's my video. What you can do at the bottom, see where it says edit clips? You can edit. Okay, so what I'll do there is I will just pull that yellow little toggle to cut the end part when I actually switched off, you know, I touched my phone. All right. So I'll do that, done, okay. And now it's frozen, which is perfect because this is exactly what happens when you do live trainings. Peter and Linda are doing their, their reel. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. So if it freezes, I always go next and I come back. Okay, because that happens to me all the time too, just so you know. So let's add some text to it, shall we? So if you look at the very top right, top right corner, top right hand corner will be a capital A lowercase a and I will just write my hook hack I bet you didn't know okay and then I'm going to place it here see how there's the lines can you see that there's a white line to the right it's gone blue now and then a white line to the left you always want to make sure that your text is within those lines because if it doesn't it's going to get cut off Okay, so for a better user experience, you want to keep your text in between those lines. Okay, so there's my Instagram hack. I bet you didn't know. All right. And then if you want your text, if you want your text to pop out at different times on your video, you just tap on the little um, bubble at the bottom where it says Insta Instagram hack. And then you can actually choose when you want that text to appear. Okay. So it's gonna disappear for me after two seconds of the video. Alrighty, so that's a cool little feature as well. So like I said, majority of people watch their reels on mute, right? They watch uh, reels on mute. So you wanna make sure you add some captions, add some captions or add a summary. Okay, so you can summarize it with the text popping up throughout your video. In order to add captions, I'm gonna to have to turn my video up unfortunately, so it picks it up. But you tap on that little sticker mark. Did you know by adding a captions, it will actually increase your engagement. Should and then it's going to transcribe it for you. There it is. I've got my captions already. And then I can just minimize that. I can tap on it. I can give it a background. I can change the color of it. 
There's so many different options here on Instagram. Okay, I'm happy with this one. What I'm gonna do now is go next. Okay, next. And this is the last page before you post a reel, okay? There are a couple of things here that I want you to pay close attention to. The first thing is edit cover, edit cover. So what you can do here is you can actually choose a screenshot from your actual video that you just recorded as a cover photo. I never knew what captions are, now I do. There you go, Ursula, 90% of success in life is just showing up. I'm glad you got values, so that's great to hear. So when you tap on edit cover, what it will do is it will actually give you an option to choose any screen grab from your video. So what I like to do is I like to choose one that has the hook on it, if that makes sense. So I'll have that Instagram hack I bet you didn't know. Okay, that's going to be my cover photo for my video. I don't have to go away and create a separate cover photo. And then check this out. If you tap on profile grid, you can maneuver it so it doesn't get cut off. That's a preview of what it's going to look like on your Instagram grid. How cool is that feature? That's so awesome. So I would just do that and then I'd go, done. Write my description, remember, with the hook, some value, call to action in my actual description. And if, if you want to schedule, uh, schedule your reels, you have the option to now on Instagram. Okay, all you've got to do, so if I was ready for this now, I just go share and it would be posted onto Instagram. Reel done. How long did that take me? Not very long, right? I think we just go to work to overcomplicate things. But if I want to upload it when um, at a later time when there's more engagement on social media, I just go advanced settings, schedule this reel, choose a time, choose a date, set time, and then go back. And then it will give you the option to tap schedule. Okay. And then once you tap schedule, then it will post whenever you chose the, the whatever date and time you chose. All right. So I hope that was of value. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, and I'll take questions in a second, but I just wanted to end on something, if that's okay. I hope that was a value, actually seeing my screen, seeing it live, seeing me maneuver um, my way around Instagram. But let's just do this. Share screen again. I just wanted to end on this. I have a checklist for you that I want to give you so you can leave a quit. Okay. Oh, why can't I make my screen big here? Oh, well. Okay, here is, can you see my um, PowerPoint? Yep, awesome. Okay, so here's a checklist that you can use, you can borrow. There we go. There we go. All right, so before you post your next reel, just so you know, I don't even check this checklist anymore. It's like automation for me. It's like driving a car for us. You know, we get in the car. Sometimes we get to our destination. We're like, how did we get here? That's what I'm like with reels. And that's what you'll get like too, the more you do. You won't have to refer to this, this checklist anymore. So take a screenshot of this. Okay, it's your little checklist, especially for beginners um, to really get you set up with success, okay? And so I just wanted to share a quick story with you to end. Um, you may have heard this before, but there was a teacher who had a pottery class, okay? And she had two groups of students. She's like, you're going to be group A and you're going to be group, group B, okay? But the two groups had different assignments, okay? Group A were given 20 kilos of clay, okay? 20 kilo kilos of clay. And they were given one month, one month to create a perfect clay pot, okay? That was group A. Group B... They were given the same amount of clay, the same amount of time, but they were allowed, they were allowed to create as many pots as possible. So when it came to exam day, okay, and the teacher was there and group A brought in their pot and group B brought in their pot, I want to know from you, who do you think had the better pot, group A or group B? The person who only created one pot or the person that was able to create pot after pot after pot after pot after pot. Exactly, exactly. Peter and Linda, ding, 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 ding. B, group B, because they practiced. They practiced. We spoke about this at the beginning, and it's so perfect because this is the slide that I have. I was like, you've got to be bad. Just get the bad over and done with so we can get better, okay? And it's only going to come through doing it. 
You're going to create reels and they're going to be shockers, my friends. But what, what's going to inspire your team the most is when you're training and you go, check out this shocker, but look where I am now. Okay, no one gets inspired by perfection. We get inspired by the messy action and we've watched someone grow through it. So here we go. We've heard the saying, ready? Aim, fire, right? Ready, whatever. But I want you to change it to ready, fire, aim. Okay, because so many of us, we get ready to 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 get ready. And then we do it and it was a flop, but we could have used all that time to get feedback from our ideal customer, from our ideal audience to tell us what works and what doesn't work. Okay, so who's ready to ready, fire, aim and get into action and to create some reels? If you're watching the replay, if you're in the comments, I want you to say ready. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. If you've got any questions, I'm all yours. Oh, you're on mute, Andrew. There we go. I'm off mute. See, we all make mistakes. How many Zooms have I done? Do you know what? We all, <clears throat> the other day I bit my tongue while I was eating and I've been eating for 41 years now and I very still true. I still make mistakes, right? True. Eating solid food. Very is pain, a very painful yeah. mistake. Mm -hmm. Eating solid foods for 40 years, we still all make mistakes. But uh, look, I I mean, you've you've absolutely totally crushed it. I um, There's nothing else to say because you've just hit it so well. And as I said, guys, it is just about getting into action. And that's why we want to do this 30-day real challenge with you. Keep you accountable, uh, have that support of each other, and we can be sharing our learning, sharing all the things that we're doing. But it's not going to work if you don't get out there and just start, just make the reels. And even just the other day, I mean, you know, was our mutual friend was and I were walking the dog and my dog every day likes to go swim in this gross swamp. And same thing, I just quickly filmed it, put a little sort of funny, silly music behind it. It was six seconds. And I just checked the insights while you were talking, like it's had so many like shares and saves and views and hours and hours and hours and hours of views off this six second video of the dog. Cause as soon as the dog gets in the swamp, she mm -hmm. gets a huge, big smile on her face. So guys, just go out there, start creating and your audience will tell you what it likes. I think mean, that's really the big thing. Exactly. That's been, exactly. Like, yeah. And, and you've said like, we can struggle overthinking about our niche and that go out and do market research by putting stuff out there and seeing what your audience is loving. They're going to tell you with their fingers, with their feet, with their comments, with their saves, what they love. And it's the best way to get feedback is to start putting five, six, seven different reels out there and see which ones are getting the traction, which aren't. And then, all right, I'm going to focus more on this next week. I'm going to focus more on that next week. Little transitions, little types. I know for me, you know, you can sit there and get really professional with them and have great stuff. Or you just put up the camera and just say organically what's on your mind. And it's always the organic ones that get more reach and content um, engagement comments for me. So that's my audience saying, just be real, just be organic with us because that's what we want. So nice. You have totally crushed it, um, Alicia. I know um, uh, there's just all all love and that in the comments. So we'll stop the video here, guys. I hope you've got a ton of value. Don't forget to follow Alicia as well because she does daily tips on her Instagram pretty much every single day. She's going to give you a tip on how to build your following, how to find your niche, like little advancements that are happening, as I say, in, in Instagram and all the new features they're putting in. Alicia's always at the pointy end of the innovators and she's going out there and testing and measuring and finding things out. So make sure you follow her, Alicia Fernandez at Instagram, and you can check out her daily reels to continue to get that mentorship and training from her. Thank you so much. I uh, can't wait to see you face to face soon. Uh, yeah, for sure. Hope you got great value from this and we'll catch you all soon. Thanks for having me. <laughs>